you didn't tell me. <laughs> you kept deserve it. it. <laughs> Thank you. You kept I it a secret. It. <laughs> These are actually tears of joy. I didn't expect it to be this way. And dreams do come true. I arrived a young feminine boy in Washington, D.C. almost 30 years ago. And this city was not prepared to embrace people like me, who were gay, who were lesbian, who were bisexual, who were transgender, gender non-conforming. But I do know that when we united our voices collectively and we came together with our community power, the different ones, the people like me, show how society, how to interact with us. Many times I had to overcome much just to stay alive. And most times, just believing and dreaming, I kept myself alive. Just being with my own and with those people that nobody wanted to touch, we came together to change the destiny. And I and others worked to make life better for countless others. You see, sometimes our reality was so hard that the only way how we could survive was dreaming of a better future, of dreaming of a better life in color, in that rainbow. And together, with those, I was able to gain strength to overcome all those unthinkable challenges. The best gift, the best gift that I treasure still today is transitioning my gender and being part of this community, the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community. In this community, I learned to love myself unconditionally. In this community, I learned to accept myself despite the many labels that society had imposed on me in my community. It is in this the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community that I learned to embrace myself in those who are different. I learned that when we also dream together, all of us, our dreams become bigger than we ever imagined. When all of us, when you, I, you, and all of us come together and we unite ourselves for LGBTQ, our dreams become bigger than we can imagine. Today, I really want to take the time to thank every single person who opened doors for me. And I want to thank all of those who stood by me. Ellen, <laughs> thank you. Because together, those who helped me open doors, we change society. Those of you who don't know about Leah Alcorn, we change society here in the nation's capital. But we must do more to change it across the United States and around the world. I want to thank all of the community allies 
who believed in me and that all of us together could try to change the world and make it a kinder place for all of us. I want to thank those who joined me in taking care of homeless youth, undocumented immigrants, the marginalized, the disposable, the transgender, the gender nonconforming, and all of those who only wish to pursue their dreams in a world free of discrimination and intolerance. Last, I want to invite all of you every day. I want you to join me in supporting all those who are facing life obstacles right now. Today here at home and around the world, let's remind them that they're not alone. Let's remind them and let them feel embraced. Let's embrace them. Let's hold them virtually, however it comes. And let them know that they are part of something bigger. They are part of a big family that is called the LGBTQ community. Because together, we can make dreams come true. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.